This is my second field experience day and I'm actually going to be with my other teacher all day today so I'm really excited to see the shift perception of you know maybe like my first impression of it or something how she does stuff different. Um, I'm going to show you my outfit. Oh <laughs> hello dear. So I'm wearing the black uh, like khakis again. I have a few pairs of these and they're just so like professional classic but they're super stretchy so you can actually like get down on the ground and bend with them i'm just wearing this shirt which i also think is from old navy with like the bell sleeves uh, and then i'm wearing a black vest and then i'm gonna wear um some brown booties i think to break up all the black my hair i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep my hair like this i like the low bun but if i don't have these pieces out i look well, I guess it doesn't look that bad. Maybe I'll put these pieces back in. I don't know. I just need, like, the, the framing of my face to look semi-okay. But I don't know if it looks, like, like bad. I don't know. Um, let me look in the mirror. My friend Jess, which I think she watches my video, so... Uh, she wore her hair like this with a scrunchie, and it looked so cute. And I went to do my hair like this this morning, and it just does not add up. Hers looks so much cuter, I don't think I can rock it. That's why I pulled these front pieces out, because I needed some help. Um, but now, I'm making some breakfast. It is 7.46, I want to leave here by like 8.05, same time as yesterday. Um, I'm making an egg, I might have put it on a like bun, bread to make an egg sandwich, and I have an applesauce, and then after, I get out of school today I'm gonna be going to my job so I'm gonna be picking up lunch for me and my teacher um, we always get lunch on Thursdays it's like our Friday because we don't work on Fridays so I'm gonna be doing that I am bringing my laptop to school today because I'm going there afterwards and I want to have something to be able to do while I'm there so I'm just gonna make my breakfast put on my shoes put Daisy up and head out the door so I will talk to you guys in a little bit Right, so I just finished doing everything. I poured my coffee in a to-go cup, even though it's like a quarter of coffee left, but I'm not throwing this out. This is my cute waitress cup from my Broadway show that I went to while I was in New York at Christmas. It was so good. I loved it. So now I get this cute cup. Um, and then I have a sandwich, applesauce, packed my water. I'm going to hurry up, make sure everything is in my teacher bag. Um, and I'm going to throw on some shoes and move out the door. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I just got in my car. Real quick, I always do a check um, just to make sure I have everything before I leave the house, especially my ID. Um, if I forget that, I can't volunteer, like I can't go in. Uh, so I always just get my bag. I have my wallet, which has my ID. You know, I've got my pencil pouch, my book my notebook i think that's everything i need i do have my breakfast which i'll eat on the way i have my water uh and i decided to go with the hair if it looks bad oopsie but i don't know what to do um and i have my phone and my keys so i think i'm all set uh 
I'm going to text Eli that I'm on my way and I'm gonna be heading out. So I've realized that it's way too loud to vlog while I'm driving. So I'm going to be, um, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go into school. Um, I'm just gonna head out. Oh, got really dark. I'm just gonna head out. I'm just gonna eat my breakfast. I'm not gonna check in with you guys when I get in because I'm I'll just end up repeating the same thing that I've already said. Um, so I will just see you after my day. I'm gonna be there. It's eight o'clock. I'm gonna get there at eight thirty and I'm gonna leave at twelve thirty today so that I have time to go to my um, job. So I will check in with you guys at the end of the or at the end of my school day to let you guys know how the day went. I'm really excited to. Um, be like in the groove again and I'm excited to see how this teacher is versus my teacher yesterday so I will check in with you guys at the end of the day hey guys so um, I don't like vlogging in my car anymore because I've realized that the videos don't sound very well because my car is so loud for some reason uh, and it's also raining so that's definitely not helping but I am on the way to my job I'm stopping at Chick-fil-a and getting us lunch like I mentioned we do lunch on Thursdays um, so I am stopping at Chick-fil-a but I wanted to talk to you guys for a minute about how my day went my day was great um, my teachers are still so fantastic so nice today we started laying out the lessons that I'm gonna be teaching because I have to get them done by April actually one of them I have to get done by March so we started laying out the lessons that I'm going to be teaching um, and just started to get that underway I'm going to be teaching we decided for social studies I'm probably going to do a wants versus needs lesson for an economy topic which I'm really excited about um, because I think that that'll be like really easy to plan not that I like want something easy but something really easy to plan and do and carry out and then for English I'm gonna be teaching um, maybe like an introductory lesson about a, a novel that they're gonna be reading and I'm also gonna be doing um, the main idea of a book so I'm gonna have to pick that book out today science is one that I'm definitely worried about so I'm gonna be teaching a lesson on light about how light reflects off stuff passes through and ups gets absorbed by stuff and I am definitely not an expert at that topic by any means so I'm gonna have to research it and learn it enough to teach it um, but I had a fantastic day again uh, I did a lot today I did small group with a few kids and I read to a child who um, needed some more one-on-one -on -one attention um, I helped him with a worksheet and I observed a math lesson that I honestly like learned a lot from which is just goes to show you that like you don't know everything uh, even as a teacher so I'm pulling up to Chick-fil-a right now so I hope that yeah okay there's a line of course um but I'm, let me get out my notebook because I took so many notes today about everything because it was, I am really overwhelmed with the science lesson, but it will be okay. Um, yeah, so, so for science, I'm thinking that I'm going to do like a mini lesson on lights uh, and then I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do small group with them, maybe like where they'll, Oh, no, wait. No, never mind. Scratch that. So I think I'll probably do a KWL chart with them, which is what they know, what they want to learn, and what they learned at the end of the lesson, which is a good assessment tool as well. Um, and then I think we'll probably do like a light worksheet or like a reading about light to get them introduced into the lesson. And then we'll do like a flip chart or something that they can like have and and use as a resource um and then we're going to be doing a lab a light lab which i'm also going to be doing i have to teach two science lessons so it's perfect because i'll teach the writing lesson or like the you know paper lesson one day and 
then I will do the lab the next day. So that will count as two, which is perfect, but I'm really worried about that, I'm not gonna lie. But overall, I had another really good day. Um, I really, really, really like my teachers. They really make me enjoy the grade more than I think I maybe would if I didn't have a good teacher. Th these would be seriously the perfect teachers to student teach with. I kind of wish I said fourth grade and requested this teacher because she would be a fantastic type of student teaching with. Um, but like, I need to get my wallet. Like I said, I'm at Chick-fil-A. Um, and then I'm gonna go to my job, discuss everything, uh, and then I'm gonna go home. It's supposed to snow here tonight and school's already canceled for tomorrow. So I need to get home maybe before it starts snowing. I think I saw it was supposed to start snowing like at seven or something. So I'm gonna have to um, get home. I wanna get home before all of that mess starts because we live, hopefully all that doesn't spill. We live in a coastal area. If you don't know what that means, it means that nobody can drive when it snows. Probably myself included because it never snows. I mean, you can tell how much it never snows because it literally um, already canceled school tomorrow and it hasn't even started snowing yet. There's no snow on the ground. It hasn't even started snowing. It's only raining and they've already canceled school for tomorrow. I think we only have like one snow plow in our whole area because it's so, just never gets snow. Um, but I will check in with you guys a little bit later um, and tell you how the rest of my day goes. But I had a really good day today, so. your bag people you will pull away your stuff will not be in there all right guys so i just got home a little bit ago from work we closed i was gonna stay a lot later um but we closed early because it's supposed to snow and my teacher lives kind of far away so she just wanted to get home before it started snowing. So now I'm going to look up um, some things that I can use for lesson planning, for my lesson plan that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna do wants versus needs anchor chart since that's what I'm gonna be making. Okay, so see, this is cute. This is a foldable that they could turn into me. Um, and then once I check, or they could glue it in and I could come around and check it. So this would flip up and underneath they would write their main topic and then they would write their key three details that support the main topic or main idea. That's really cute, I like that. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking as far as my lesson for that. I just need to double check and make sure that it is going to be grade appropriate and not too easy for them. Come on, Daisy, let's go outside. Come on, hurry up. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. And not too easy for them to do. Um, and then for the science, I am going to struggle with that a little bit, so I'm going to have to go in there and try to find a science activity or something. Um, but overall, I had a really good day. Where's she at? raining so badly she's not gonna go outside to potty um but i think i'm gonna end the vlog here eli's on his way home i may vlog tomorrow if it snows snow day um but i'm so excited i am gonna be teaching so many lessons and i don't know if i said this but oh what does she have daisy leave it alone Get up. 
so cold. I'm going inside. I think it's definitely going to snow, at least flurry. Um, but I don't know if I mentioned this already or not, but I have two groups of students because I have two different teachers. One teacher teaches reading and social studies. The other teacher teaches math and science. So I have two groups of students. So I have 40 students. So each lesson I create, I'm going to have to teach it two times, which is kind of nice because then it gives me a chance to perfect it and get more practice with it. So that is a little nerve wracking and a little exciting that I'm going to get two opportunities to try it, two opportunities to teach when really I would only have one. So I am pretty excited about that. Um, but these vlogs are going to be frequent. I'm going to be in the classroom two times a week. I'm going to be at work two times a week. So my life is going to be super crazy uh, here the next few months. We are going to Colorado for spring break. So I'm super excited about that trip and I am going to vlog it. So if you want to see all these adventures and you want to stay along with what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe. I see every subscription that I get and I am so excited when my numbers rise and I get another subscriber and I love to read your guys' comments. It makes me so excited that I'm getting like actual people watching that actually want to say things to me or you know tell me what they want to see or tell me what they liked about the video. You freak. I don't want to let her in because she hasn't pottied yet and I'm afraid that she's going to pee in the house somewhere because it's uh, raining outside so I know she hasn't gone pee yet. Um, but don't forget to leave a comment. I love to read the comments. I get so excited. I reply to all of them. So um, make sure you leave me a comment. Make sure you subscribe. If you follow me on Instagram, let me know that you came from my YouTube channel. That would make me so happy. And I'm going to be sharing all this stuff way more frequently. And it's just going to get more crazy and more in depth because I'm actually going to be teaching these lessons. And I'm actually going to be planning them and actually doing them, sharing my feedback, sharing my thoughts. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.